Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I was off work today. I'm sick as shit, so I'm gonna make this a quick one. But I came down to do another coat of true, true oil on this stock, and I thought I'd gather up all the things that I've used thus far in this uh, stock restoration and give you guys a little um, walkthrough on the steps I took. Um, if you don't follow ETK uh, Handmade on Instagram, I suggest you do so. Um, he's helped me out a lot with what to do with this stock. Um, I didn't realize until I started sanding into it um, that this was a birch stock. Um, this is a Ted Williams Sears and Robot gun made by Winchester. And if you don't know, birch is kind of a pain in the ass um it's obviously not dark like walnut so it needs to be stained to look right and um birch can take stain rather weird especially around the end grains and stuff so um i was talking to evan and he gave me some tips on what to do uh, i don't think i got as good of results as he would but it didn't turn out too bad for my first time um, going through these steps, so I just wanted to fill you guys in. Um, I obviously sanded, sanded the stock down. If you can see here, like these end grains here turn darker, and uh, but not too bad. I sanded it down, and then I um, where's it at? You can see. There was a tiny crack right there that I um I notched out in here and I filled in with this uh super T. It's gap filling instant glue. It's it's like an awesome super glue. Um it's available at Brownells. So I fixed the little crack with that, got it sanded down really nice, and then I um took this shellac and I um, diluted it with uh, alcohol onto uh, a 50-50 mix. And I, um, I rubbed it on the stock. Uh, it dries rather quickly, but I, I would do a coat, wipe it off, do a second coat, and then let it dry a day. And then I'd come back and hit it with uh, Scotch-Brite and um, I did that twice, but I don't think I have any pictures of it still, but it looked like the shellac kind of failed in this area, um, because after you do two coats of the shellac and let it dry, so you scuff it down again, and then I started with um, this trans tint, this is a medium brown dye for wood. And what the uh, shellac does is kind of act as a barrier. Um, so you're actually kind of um, dyeing the shellac rather than letting it seep too far into the wood, causing the goofy colors. Um, and the shellac seemed to um, fail the first time. I was getting really really blotchy areas through here worse than you see now that's just the grain that you can kind of see that looks blotchy um but it was pretty bad so what i ended up doing was um taking some denatured alcohol and rubbing down the whole stock and it um it wiped off quite a bit of the dye and then i went back through and uh hit it again with the shellac um, and alcohol mixture and then start it over. Um, this dye, you can either mix it with uh, water or alcohol. Um, water works better according to Evan. Um, and it says to reduce the mix ratio of one ounce to one quart solvent. And um, 
that wasn't nearly enough to get the color that I wanted on that. So I think I was at like three times the strength of the dye and uh, I just mixed it up and I have it in the coffee can that you can see sitting on the floor. Um, it, it's not too bad. It's still a little bit lighter than I wanted, but uh, it has a, has a nice color to it. Definitely better than just plain birch, that's for sure. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Um, so then I opted for um, just your uh, traditional true oil finish from Birchwood Casey. Again, uh, you can pick this up from Brownells. And the best way to apply this stuff is honestly with your finger. Um, and so I didn't want to contaminate this whole bottle. So I used one of these, uh, these are convenient little cups. Um, I'll give uh, Kurt the Gunsmith a plug for um, introducing me to these from one of his blog posts. Um, they're called the little bitty cups. They're just like uh, little medicine cups with measurements on. Uh, I actually use that, these for, I think it's still laying here. I actually used it uh, when I was mixing up the dye too, measuring out the amount of dye I needed. But these are also great for uh, putting true oil in so you don't contaminate your whole bottle. And then I would just uh, dip my finger in and, and rub, rub the stock. So I think I'm gonna do one more coat and then call it good. It, it's pretty, the gloss is where I want it. Um, there's a couple streaks that I would like to see um, disappear. So I'm gonna hit it with some fine steel wool and do one more coat with the, <coughs> one more coat with the true oil and then reassemble it. Uh, I re-blued everything on this guy too. So once I have it back together, I'll do an update video or at least a post on Instagram. Um, make sure you follow me on Instagram because a lot of my time, a lot of times, um, the videos that I start on here end up as um, posts or reels on Instagram. I don't do a full um, follow up video. I know I keep saying that I will, but I usually get ahead of myself and end up getting everything back together and don't ever follow up. So uh, if you follow me on Instagram, um, uh, it'll help keep you in the loop a little bit more um, with these videos that I do. So. Um, I got a couple comments recently about some videos um, that made me happy. Uh, one for the Hawa 1500 mini action, uh, a guy, uh, it was the only video he could find on the bolt disassembly and getting the extractor pin out. So um, he was very thankful for finding it and stuff like that uh, just makes my day and makes uh, all the time worthwhile doing these short videos. Uh, I never thought anybody would really watch them when I started doing this, uh, but I got a little bit of a following now and I appreciate you guys. So, um, I will put links, um, in the description for some of these products. And, uh, if you have any questions or comments or, um, any better ways to, um, restore a birch stock and make it look half decent, please feel free to, um, uh, critique what I did and, uh, teach me something. So. Yeah, guys, uh, thanks for watching.